Classic TV fans might remember a show called The Outer Limits. The announcer would come on at the beginning and say, do not adjust your picture, we are controlling transmission. Well, the same is true for right now because it's Wemple Wednesday, and today TBD editor Eric Wemple takes on a DC media titan, among other topics. So, ladies and gentlemen, here's Eric. Hey, thanks for the toss, Mojo, love it! Hey, but you know what? This is mid to late afternoon cable TV. Let's get right into the pile. First off, Politico. Great story today. John Harris, Mike Allen, Obama's Woodward Gamble. Good story, lots of detail. Comprehensive Fuego from Politico. No COI involved here at all. Next, continue with the sizzling trend, the Washington Post. If you didn't see this last week, uh, the DC Council Chairman Vince Gray killed Adrian Fenty in the mayoral contest. Why? Why? All you need to do is read the Washington Post. Nikita Stewart and Paul Schwartzman explained it all. They talked about how last June they tried to get Fenty to start apologizing early. And guess what he said? He said, I'm proud of my record. No apologizing at that point. Too late for Fenty. The Washington Post explains it all. Amazing story. Love it. Okay, moving to the other side of this temperature spectrum. Harry Jaffe. Oh, long-time observer, writer on the local political scene. What did he say last week about the mayor's race? He said this. Oh, Tuesday's results were no real surprise to anyone who kept a close eye on DC's mayoral race. Oh, so Harry, you knew what happened. You saw this coming, right? You saw that Gray was going to kill Fenty. Oh, March 31st, 2010. Here's why I predict Gray is a goner. He wrote a whole column on how Gray was spent, how Gray was done. A whole column. Come on, Harry. You know something? You go on the Frio side. You're just like Senor Fuego Frio, sort of a white guy cocooned in Northwest DC. You didn't understand the depths of the black disaffection with Adrian Fenty. Neither did Senor Fuego Frio. There's no shame in that. Nobody knew how much he had bl blown off everybody. But you know what? Admit it. All right, next one. On tap, also continuing with the Frio. On tap does an interview with London Fletcher of the Washington Redskins. And listen to these questions, people. This is how you interview someone. You're a devoted family man, husband, father of two young children, and a tireless team leader. You have your own charity and a punishing job as a Washington Redskins starting linebacker. What drives you? Next. Jim Zorn said you are a man who would want his son to look up to. How does that make you feel, London? Next, why is charity and working with children so important to you, London? Come on, come on, let's, let's throw some real questions at your guy. Jake Tapper, can you get with on tap and tell them how to, how to question somebody? Free out for on tap, you gotta do better than that on tap. Come on, London Fletcher, throw a hard ball or two. Next, also, talk about Puff. Talk about fun. Cooks. Cooks Illustrated, a Bible for foodies, world around. Listen to this, Christopher Kimball, the founder and editor of Cooks Illustrated. Listen to this guy. Someday, when I am older, I hope I will be able to recognize the constellations, identify bird songs, tie a dozen sailor's knots, tell the difference between a catch and a sloop, master the art of making puff pastry, and remember the names of people I've known for years. In the years to come, I also plan to ride horseback from our farm to Canada, run the Boston Marathon, and take my Indian motorcycle cross country. Who cares? I don't care what conveyance you use to get to Canada, Christopher Kimball. Don't care one bit. Frio side, too self-indulgent. Fuego Frio stands four square against self-indulgence. Continuing on the Frio side, look at this. The hill rag, what's this Norman Rockwell stuff? I don't get it. Second, they do a story on bullying. Bullying, big issue for children and parents. Okay, fine. But don't try to represent it photographically. Is that the bully? No, bullying is a multi-layered psychograph. It's traumatic. Bullying cannot be represented photographically. Don't try to, hey, hey, let's get the photographer. Let's take a picture of bullying. No, it doesn't work like that. Bullying cannot be photographed. Simply cannot. Oh, next one, Russia. Russia now, listen to this. Russia now, promoting Russia in the United States. Love Russia now. Check out this line from Russia now. Uh, the concert reaches the United States. It is not every day one can see a warm-hearted, cathartic film full of talented Russian actors unknown in the West. Ho oh, ho! You're damn right it's not every day. Boy, you never get that. I'll put them on the fucking side anyway. Uh, what's next? That's it! Mojo hates it when I go over time, so hey, we're finishing up. Love you. Next time, we'll see you.
We now return control of your television set.